This is typical of what you could be asked on your exam about the required practical about making a salt. So describe how you could make a sample of copper sulfate crystals from an acid and a base. So first of all, you need to decide what acid to use. And if you want to make copper sulfate crystals, we need to start with sulfuric acid. You also need to decide what chemical we're going to use as a base. And you need to remember that bases are metal oxides. So if we want to make copper sulfate crystals, we need to start with copper oxide. So once we know that, we can set off describing our practical, mentioning the equipment that we're using along the way. So we could say measure out 50 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid with a measuring cylinder and place it in a beaker. You could use a different volume such as 25 cm cubed or 30 cm cubed, so long as you can measure it with a measuring cylinder. Then we need to say place the beaker on a tripod and gauze and warm it up with a Bunsen burner to increase the rate of reaction. In other words, it's going to speed up the reaction. We then need to add excess copper oxide to the acid to ensure all of the acid has reacted. Then we would filter out the excess copper oxide, so you're left with the copper sulfate solution. And then the next stage is to carry out crystallization to obtain the crystals. And we're going to go into more details about crystallization now. So the first stage of crystallization is you would pour the copper sulfate solution into an evaporating dish and heat it until the crystals start to appear. And to do that, we'd use a water bath, which is basically a beaker of water with the evaporating dish sat on top. Then we would allow it to cool, and as it cools, the copper sulfate becomes less soluble. So that means more of it forms crystals in the bottom of the dish. Then we'd let the rest of the water evaporate naturally. That might take a few days. And finally, we'd pat the crystals dry with a paper towel or place them in an oven to dry them fully. Here's another way that the examiners might ask you a six mark question about the required practical. Joe and Sarah wanted to make some zinc chloride from an acid and a carbonate. Rewrite their method with improvements. Pour some sulfuric acid into a beaker and add a spatula of the carbonate. Stir for five minutes, then heat in an evaporating dish on a tripod and gauze until all of the water has evaporated and you are left with the crystals. So the first thing we need to realize is they're using the wrong acid. To make zinc chloride, they need to use hydrochloric acid. And the carbonate they'll need to use is zinc carbonate if they want to make zinc chloride. So we're being specific about the right chemicals. The next thing is rather than just writing some sulfuric acid, we're going to be specific about the volume. So we're going to say measure with a measuring cylinder 50 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid and pour it into a beaker. It doesn't have to be 50, just a sensible amount like 25 centimeters cubed, 30 centimeters cubed, that would be okay as well. And then we're going to warm the acid to increase the rate of reaction so that it reacts a bit quicker. And then instead of just adding a spatula of the carbonate, we're going to add excess zinc carbonate to make sure that all of the acid has reacted. And then next, what we'll need to do is filter out that excess carbonate. The next thing we need to spot in the method is they're putting the evaporating dish straight on the tripod and gauze. So as an improvement, we could suggest they heat the solution in an evaporating dish over a water bath. Also, instead of heating it until all the water's evaporated, we only heat it until the crystals start to appear. Then we'd need to allow it to cool so that the zinc chloride becomes less soluble and more crystals start to form. Then let the rest of the water evaporate naturally and finally dry it in an oven. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching.